Crews in Berlin are still trying to figure out what sparked the big hole fire. It quickly scorched more than 800 acres in the Bosque a week ago during some really windy conditions. Crews have been able to maintain it since then, but it scorched a lot of the Bosque, including this wildlife wildland conservation area. Spencer Schott joins us after visiting that wildlife area. And today, Spencer, it sounds like a good chunk of that conservancy is gone. Yeah, Ryan, 75%. And when the big hole fire jumped over the river, it quickly burned through the grasses and cottonwood trees that filled the Whitland Conservation Area. And now it was an emotional sight for the wildland managers who watched helplessly as their conservation area burned right before their eyes. Next thing I knew, I saw these walls of fire coming towards us. And I thought, I started crying. Andrew Hotsinger and Teresa Smith de Sheriff were some of the last people to see the Whitfield Conservation Area before it went up in flames. We're losing a community asset here because we can't manage our bosque. Walking through what's left of the conservation area, signs warn folks this area is no longer open to the public and burnt trees could pose a danger. To have a charred area with our grandfather cottonwood trees likely ready to fall over at any moment is nothing short of an ecological disaster. While a lot of the area is gone, including the outdoor classrooms that have been reduced to ash, it's not a total loss. I want to teach people about the power of nature and the big burden of fire. You know, it's a blessing, but it also is a real challenge. And from there, we can go forward and map a strategy. Smith, the sheriff, and Hotzinger are looking at this fire as a new opportunity to rebuild. So I see the silver lining as we get a chance to do this better than we did it last time because we're 20 years smarter. Mm -hmm. But we also get this wonderful chance to bring our community back in and have them be part of it. Because this is a community asset and it needs to be protected as such. And they plan to protect it. Hotzinger says he wants to see dirt under his community members' fingernails as they're inviting everyone down to Whitfield this weekend for their Earth Day Science Fiesta. While they're planning, they're, while planting probably won't start until next year, this weekend is a chance to give the folks who it gives us a chance to grieve what we've lost and help us move forward. Yeah, positive spin there. Spencer, thanks. And we're going to stay on the wildfire watch as crews continue to battle all these fires. You can stick with KLB for the latest updates and alerts.